Welcome to Forage Fun Friday. Our topic this week is bees. Um, this is a new program that we're doing um, to try to get our foragers a little more engaged in hands-on activities. First off, let's talk about why bees are important. Bees pollinate flowers. These flowers develop into the fruits and vegetables we eat and food for animals. Another important reason is biodiversity. They help bring about changes in the plants so that we have a more diverse type of plants in our area. They also help provide wildlife habitat. The bees and pollinators are facing lots of problems. They have a loss of habitat. Large grassy areas like football fields or golf courses don't have the flowers and food that the bees need. Pollution and insecticides can harm bees. And also, there's types of diseases that can wipe out entire bee colonies. In your bee kit, you should find the following items. You should have an information sheet about bees and instructions for how to make our craft today. You'll also have a ruler, several pieces of construction paper, two googly eyes, and a pipe clamp. Before you start your craft, you're going to need to grab a few things from around the house. You will need an empty toilet paper tube, markers or colored pencils or crayons to draw with, glue, a glue stick or tape, and a pair of scissors. Grab this stuff before you get started. You can follow the instructions on the sheet or follow along with the video to make the crown. Start by measuring how long your toilet paper tube is and mark a line on your yellow paper so that it's same size. Cut your paper, draw a smile and some rosy cheeks for your bee, and then put glue all over the paper and wrap it around your toilet paper tube. Next, cut three long strips and one short strip of black paper. Hold on to the short strip. We'll use it in a minute to put on the antenna. Put glue all over the back of the black strips. Glue one at the top near the head and two at the bottom spaced out for the black stripes on the bottom of the bumblebee. For the wings, fold your white paper in half and draw your set of wings. You can make them as big or small as you like. Then cut them out with your scissors. You can repeat this with the red paper for the hearts to go on top of the antenna and on the bee's belly. Now, take your pipe cleaner and fold it in half. Remember that short piece of black paper? Cover it with glue, put your antennas inside the toilet paper tube, and use the black piece of paper to hold them in place. Then, you can glue the googly eyes on above your smile. Glue your hearts to the end of the bee's antenna and the bigger heart right in the center of the bee's belly. Put glue on your wings and glue them to the back of the bee. Now you have a wonderful bee that you can take care of or give to someone special. Maybe you'll ask them to be your valentine. Want to learn more about bees? Visit our website at waynetownshipforage.org. There we have links for additional bee activities, videos, and even an essay contest. If you're interested in joining 4-H, have questions or comments about this activity, please email roby 4 at gmail.com. Send me a picture of your finished project. I'd love to see it. 